Okay. Hello and welcome. My name is Pascal Lane and today I have the absolute pleasure of interviewing the wonderful Marlene Rose Shaw, who is going to be talking to us today about everything that she does, everyone that she helps and all of the wonderful stuff uh, that she does to help her clients to achieve their, their results and the courage to be themselves. So Marlene, uh, it's lovely to see you today. Um, do you want to do a little brief introduction about who you are? I think you've just bigged me up there so much I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Marlene Rose Shaw. I'm a therapist and coach and a self-help author. And I specialize in helping people find courage to be themselves, to actually stop living in the shadow of other people's expectations and lead their own lives. And I work with individual clients and with couples, and I have an online community as well. Absolutely fantastic. Wonderful. So how did you, how did you get into this, Marlene? How did you come to do this kind of work? It's a, it's been a journey. It's been a, it's a, it a always long is. journey. <laughs> a story, <laughs> a story. Um, I think, you know, I didn't have the easiest start uh, in life. And I think that led me to be a little girl who grew up very curious about people and why people behave the way they did and who I was in the world and how it all fitted together. So I had a kind of natural inclination towards psychology and therapy. And then I kind of, when I got older, I went to university. I was a mature student, single mum, went to university and studied applied psychology. And when I was at university, I found we had some courses that we could choose. Some were the core courses. Then we had extra courses. We could choose which ones we wanted. And I found myself drifting towards the therapy-based courses. And at that point realized that that was how I was going to bring all this together and become a therapist. So after university, I went on, did postgrad training in various um, therapy, therapy and counseling and various things, and then continued on with more training and uh, learning more tools and techniques. And it's just been an ongoing journey from there. And now I work a lot online as well. I have a community online as well as seeing one-to-one -one clients. So it's just sort of expanded as time's gone on. It's wonderful, isn't it? So wonderful. So what really lights you up about the work that you do? What lights me up? Lights me up is an absolute great way to say it because that's how I feel. You know, I feel lit up. I absolutely love working with people I love I love all of it I love working one-to-one -one with clients and having that that you know very intimate connection and I love working in groups I love I work with couples as well and I really love also having a community of people that I may not always meet in person but I know they're there and they read my books and um, I get emails from people saying, oh, you know, I loved your book or some, something, or I saw your YouTube video or something like that. And having that level of connection as well, it's, it's all about connection at the end of the day. And that's what lights me up. I, I'm a connection person. I absolutely love that feeling of being in that space with somebody, whether it's a virtual space or they're in the room with me. It's the same thing. It's that, that real sense of of being connected and that empathy, which is about we're there together. I'm holding them. That I'm holding space for them, and we're together. It's not. It's not sympathy. It's empathy. It's like I'm. I'm just seeing the world through your eyes for a little while. I'm stepping back from me, and I'm seeing the world through your eyes, so that we're really connected. And I think the other part of it that lights me up is. You know, I believe that we're here to evolve. I, I believe we're here to, for two reasons. One is to be happy and the other is to evolve. And we live in an evolving universe. We're part of the universe. So it makes sense that we're here to, to evolve, to learn and grow. 
And I love being part of that journey because that's what I help my clients do. I help them make some sort of transformation from having certain amount of experience in life and being in a certain place in their life to moving into something that's where they've learned something about themselves and uh, their relationships and how they are with other people. And they've got that thing we call wisdom. You know, we look at wise people and, we're, and we, we admire wise people. Do we ever stop and think, why do we admire wise people? It's because we know, I think, deep down that that's what we want. We want wisdom, we want to evolve, we want to grow. And to be part of that journey and help people do that. And when they're unhappy and they're stuck, maybe they've got repeated patterns of, uh, you know, difficult relationships or they've got, you know, patterns of never quite being able to succeed in what they want to do because they've got these beliefs that are holding them back and negative self-talk and that all their emotions get in the way. And to be able to help them clear all those blocks and move forward and evolve into more confident beings and really comfortable in their own skin and having courage to be themselves. That's a wonderful feeling. I feel very gifted to be able to help people to do that because I, I don't feel often that it's always me doing it. Something is working through me that helps me to do that. And that lights me up because it's not, it's not about me really. It's about me being given the gift to spend my time on this planet doing that you're nodding yeah 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 absolutely absolutely uh, my brain's going off in a couple of different directions because first of all I mean we, we know each other very well um we're in similar lines of work in terms of our therapeutic work um, but we're also both very spiritual and we both um you know believe that um, there is so much more than just the physical aspect of, of of who we are and what we do. But I was also thinking at the same time about that, that curiosity that you mentioned about um, growing up and the disadvantages that you had um, from the from the very start or from your very young life uh, and that curiosity to kind of want to know more and be more and do better. And as you were talking about helping your clients, I was thinking that curiosity uh, serves you very well in the work that you do now, not just in terms of getting to where you are now, but actually also in terms of helping your clients to get to mm. where they want to be as well. And so with that in mind, do you feel like this is your calling? Do, do you mm. feel like this is, this is what you were put here in this lifetime to do? Absolutely. Absolutely. I feel like I've got into a, my groove. You know, I found my groove and I'm in it and I ain't going anywhere because it's just absolutely, you know, they, they say that we, we have a, you know, some sort of calling. And I think that calling can be anything. That calling can be to be happy. It doesn't have to be a career or a vocation it can be just to grow wise just to be happy just to sort of step into our own light and be our own true selves whatever that is um but I feel hugely privileged to to do the work I do and absolutely I feel and it's it's actually quite hard to articulate that Pascal because it's just a thing <laughs> it just is you know I just I just am doing what I'm doing and that just feels just right and there doesn't need to be words to describe that you know when you just know something you just know it there's no there's no words needed to say yeah no absolutely absolutely and and it, and it is a truly wonderful thing it really is and, and, so and, and, a, and a privilege as well yeah it's a real privilege you know to be able yeah. to do what we do so who who are the people typically, if, if there is a, a, a typical person, who are the people um, that, that you help? Who, who tends to come to you? Sort of people, you know, a lot for a lot of us, we, we, we often we tend to not be ourselves because we're trying to be the person that we think other people want us to be. 
And those are my clients. My clients are the people who are, they've just got fed up. They've got to a point in life where they're fed up going around in circles, being stuck, having the same relationship problems over and over, the same problems maybe with their work or the things that they want to do or not being able to follow their dreams because they're kind of stuck in people-pleasing mode. You know, they spend a lot of time feeling unsure of themselves and not confident and kind of thinking, what would other people think of them? Or maybe they experience that in their relationships, maybe with their friends or their spouse or their, you know, their family, people giving them their opinions or perhaps not respecting them. Perhaps they're giving up all their time and energy. So they're kind of, as I say, living in the shadow of other people's lives, other people's ideas, other people's values, other people's opinions, other people's needs and wants. And, and a lot of people go around doing that, living their lives in the shadow of everybody else's life. You know, and that's my mission in life is to, that's why I say courage to be you, because it's my mission to help all of us to actually be loving grown-ups together instead of scared children, scared of each other's opinion. We can do that. You know, we can we can be our true selves. We can be authentic. We can speak up. We can say no and set boundaries and do it in such a loving way with each other that we're not rejecting people or causing conflict. We're actually just being more mature and um, more empowered with each other and give each other that example as well. So my clients are typically those people who've just sort of got to that realization and they're saying, wow, you know, I've got this life. Here I am on planet Earth and I'm fed up not being able to really be my true self and not, not have the relationships, the respectful relationships that I want to have, where I'm being heard, where I'm being respected, you know, where I'm able to live the life I want to live and do the things I want to do without worrying all the time about what other people think of me. And they, they want to set boundaries. They want to say no, you know. If I say the word people pleaser, my clients are the first ones to put their hand up. That's probably a quick way of <laughs> describing my clients. And you know, that that's where they're at. And they say, no, enough now. I want, I want to make some changes. And it often presents in, you know, I've got this one particular issue with my partner or with my, you know, I'm fed up with all my family or um, you know, I'm just lacking confidence. It, it presents, you know, within one thing that they'll bring into therapy, one one issue. But there's also, there's this theme and they kind of talk yeah. about that as well. And yeah. you're nodding, you you yeah, know what absolutely. I'm saying. I, I, and, and, and there's a theme, but there's also, um, there's also the ripple effect, which is also so wonderful, which is like once you get in, power to do it with 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 one aspect of your life or with one person in your life then you that you get the confidence then to do it in other areas of your life and areas of your life that you didn't an, even anticipate you were going to yeah. even need to do it and so everything just kind of everything kind of changes doesn't it but why do you think so like when you're when you you start working with someone or or you're you're having conversations with someone, do they always know that they are? Do they always know that they're doing these behaviours? Because I mean, often, often these behaviours are ingrained from from very young. Do they do they always see it? Are they always aware of it when they come to you, or is it more of a kind of light? turning on moment that that happens through the course of your work together I know you talked about relationships but um mm -hmm. you know how does that how, how does that work in practice I think for, for me it works in terms of they tend to have an idea of it by the time they get to my therapy room my therapy room or my therapy zoom I say one or other <laughs> <laughs> that's quite cool I like that <laughs> yeah. we'll have to use that more catchy isn't it my therapy room or my therapy zoom whether they see me actually in the room or we work I work a lot on zoom these days but it's the same as being in the room isn't it um 
but they tend to in back in the day they I had perhaps more of the clients who didn't quite weren't quite thinking of the theme of of what was going on they were coming they were just thinking about that one particular issue and then that would come to light and as you say it was switch on for them in the sessions these days my clients tend to be more aware that there is this sort of people pleasing tendency struggle with boundaries type type thing going on for them and i think actually that's because they often come to me because they've seen me elsewhere perhaps they've heard me on a podcast or they've read one of my books or they've been reading my blog or something so they kind of know what i'm about and then that kind of aligns with them too and they say either they say oh yes that's me or they say, oh, I've known that's me for a while and now I've met Mar I've seen Marlene and that's a connection. So so that yeah. tends to be more that way these days. And I think for a lot of us as, as therapists and coaches, that's we kind of evolve into that there and back to the evolve again, aren't I? Yeah, we yeah, evolve yeah. Absolutely. Into that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The more experienced we get, we evolve into where we're meant to be and the clients that that are, you know, we're meant to work with. And often the client will say to me, you know, I heard you on a podcast two years ago and I've been, you know, following you and now's the time for us to work together. Um, or they'll say, I just have a feeling that you're the right person to work with me. Or sometimes they've seen my videos or something and they just, they just feel drawn to you. They're drawn and I'm, you know, we know that we're, that we're a good match. And if somebody comes to me and I think I, I'm not the right person, I have lots of colleagues, so I can I can refer them to somebody who is the right person for them. So it's all good. Yeah, yeah. But there is that, you know, there is that element of um, energetics, isn't it? Which is a yeah. huge part of the work that we do. Um, I think one of the reasons why you and I work so well together is because we do very similar work you know we do it differently but we, we we on paper we do very similar work but we're very different people so we will attract to mm. us people who feel drawn to us in the same way that we will work with people um who who we feel drawn to as well do, do you think that and a huge part of it you know like you said is people are drawn to you because they've been following you for a long mm. time um so why what, what what tell me a little bit about that kind of the energy the energetics around feeling drawn to you because we can be drawn to lots of different people at the same time why do you think they feel so particularly drawn to you it's it's a funny thing but as as time has gone on I have become more and more aware of energy and the quantum field and attraction back in the day i might have said it was too woo woo and too out there but as the years have gone on and i've gotten deeper and deeper and deeper into this work and in my own life as well and my own adventures and struggles and you know um, challenges and successes and all of that i have come to understand that there is as we are beings of energy and we do draw people to us I think there's something about what I was saying earlier about that that desire to evolve and that's very important for me in my own personal life and I think that sends a signal out to people who also are ready to do the same thing that that is my that is my mission that is what I, I want to do while I'm here on planet earth is do that thing about helping people to, we're moving into a new era on planet Earth. Our consciousness is rising. More and more people are beginning to understand that we are beings of energy. They're beginning to understand that we can't go on in the old outmoded way of living for fear and competition. We can't we can't survive as a race if we continue to do that. We're ready now to start living from a more assertive, loving place, a more grown up place, a more place of mutual regard and mutual respect, and looking at the bigger picture and considering how we can all grow 
as human beings. And I think that, does that answer your question or have I gone off on a tangent? <laughs> No, no, no. I, I, it, it, it does. My, my, my brain's dancing around as you're talking because I think, like we, we are all evolving, um, and also we help our clients to evolve. You help mm. your clients to evolve. Um, but I was also thinking about like timing mm. and how there are so many people that. I, I know from my own experience, and so I, I presume with your experience too, we, we we talk to people or, you know, as you were saying earlier, they've watched you, they've seen you, they resonate, you're, you're having a conversation, it feels aligned, but they are not quite ready yet mm -hmm. to, to do the work, that, that they're, they're not quite in a place where, for lots of different reasons, I mean, I, I know very much... Um, in terms of the work I do, um, the, the, the shifts are quite major in terms of kind of like their relationship and, and what they're mm -hmm. doing. And so that isn't something we we can't, we, we can't always expect people to be on our timeline, I think is what I'm trying to say. They have to be able to do it in their own time when they feel ready. And I think there's a lot of courage that comes Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at the sign behind you, courage to be you. It takes courage. It takes, it takes courage. time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, it's not like, okay, fine, like, like great, let's do it. I mean, sometimes it is let's great, great, let's do it now. But sometimes actually clients are like, oh, I'm ready. Oh, no, no, I'm not quite ready. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready to do it now. Oh, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. And it's it's a big deal. Like, how do you how do you experience that, and how do you manage that? I, I think I think that from the moment somebody, um, I'm going to say me as an example, but it could be anything, you know. But but from the moment somebody searches something on Google and reads one of my blog posts, or signs up to my email list and reads one of my emails, or watches one of my YouTube videos, they are ready. They may not be ready for one-to-one -one deep work, but they are already on that journey. From the moment they even wake up in the morning and think about some issue they've got, and they think, oh, I'll Google that, they are ready. They're, they're already on the journey. And whether it's me or whether they look at, you know, Mind Valley is a, is a great organisation, you know, all sorts of things that people might join, uh, any self, they pick up a self-help book, Anything, even if they walk into a shop, pick up a book, read the back cover, and then put it back on the shelf, they're still on the journey. So I think it's it's about it's not whether they're from my perspective, it's not whether they're ready or they're not ready. It's about what they're ready for at that particular point in time. And actually, that's why you know I give away a lot of tips and communication skills and you know self love skills and how to set boundaries and things like that because. People can just do that bit. They can just do that little bit. And then when they're ready for the deeper work, they can come and have one-to-one -one sessions or they can join one of my groups, for example, and do it in a group setting. But it's all sort of levels of actually doing the work. So I see it, I see it from that perspective. And I, I guess that's what I was saying really earlier about that thing about connection. There's connection on a one-to-one -one level, and then there's a connection of knowing that, you know, for example, last night I, I woke up this morning and I was checking my stats, and it's like three new subscribers on YouTube and two new subscribers on my mailing list. And you know, so and 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 to me, that's like, oh wow, five more people, five more people doing something, you know, doing the work or call it work, but doing the thing, you know. Yeah, joining doing, the journey doing what they need to be doing mm. because I suppose it's also about them connecting with themselves isn't it yeah yeah absolutely absolutely it's yeah. about them connecting with themselves so I'm just sort of helping them guiding them onto that path really yeah yeah fantastic because I think so often we are disconnected it, it, even 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 knowing people I say knowing in the loosest term for myself but like I know this stuff mm -hmm. I, I I know I know the psychology I I know the spirituality I, I I know the stuff and yet often 
I find myself very disconnected and it's only when I get to a point where I'm just like wow what is going mm. on for me now like time to go back to back mm. to the start and you know start again um but I think often we I say we like collectively we who are in this personal development space um uh, and without wanting to sound pious in any way at all like I think we're very privileged that we mm -hmm. are that we have this awareness and I think what what you and I love to do is to be able to share that awareness with others yeah. and kind of get them on board as well so that yeah. they can start their own journey which is a mm -hmm. which is a beautiful thing and it's not okay, well, you know it's not just about you know it's not like we start a journey and then we keep moving and then we move, you know, we reach this sort of highest wisdom thing. You know, as human beings, we always drift back because that's part of being on planet Earth in the human dimension. We can't help but but forget. And then I think as doing the work we do, because we have the awareness, we're able to say, oh, hang on a minute, <laughs> I've drifted again, as you said just now, you know, what, what do I need to do to bring myself back? But uh, we all do, because we couldn't, you know, we'd all be living in mountains, cross-legged, meditating the whole time if, if we wanted to stay in our higher consciousness. We, you know, we have to sort of interact with each other and go about our daily lives. And that means... There's duality. That means there's separation from one consciousness. There's there's your your beliefs and my beliefs and other people's beliefs and values. And of course, we bump up against each other. And that's that's what makes human life what it is. That's what makes experiences happen for us. And that's what makes us say, "Oh, this doesn't feel comfortable. What do I need to do to feel more comfortable?" And then we're back on the path again towards the wisdom. So I don't think that it's possible for us to always be in a, you know, a sort of personal development sort of buzz, as it were. I think we do drift away from it. And that's part of it is drifting away and coming. It's kind of a mindfulness, mindfulness living, isn't it? Drift away and pull ourselves back again. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. because life is full of distractions and some of those distractions yeah. are people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, and, and, and people, especially if we're talking about partners or family, which I know is, you know, all the all of the stuff that you 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 know and you talk about and you work yeah. with, um, they can sometimes um derail us a little bit, let's be yeah. realistic. Yeah, often. 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 <laughs> sometimes too often. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. So what, you know, talking about evolving, talking about connecting, talking about, you know, how personal growth and personal development, what are your plans for the future, Marlene? I, well, gosh, so much, <laughs> so much. Um, I am, I, you know, one thing I'll, I'll continue working with my one-to-one -one clients. I love working with my one-to-one -one clients. So of course, and my couples, and the other thing is I've started my YouTube channel and it's been blowing up. It's really quite remarkable. I sort of started it, what, three weeks ago? Not even three, yeah, about three weeks ago. And it's just like thousands and thousands of people viewing. That's fantastic. And I'm thinking, what's, what's going on here? But it's wonderful and I'm having so much fun with it and it's growing and um, it's, it's just really, um, it's just great. So... I'm continuing on with that. I'm loving making the videos. I'm loving the comments that people are making on the videos on YouTube and connecting with people. You see, it's this connection thing. It's oh, such a buzz. It really is. And the thing I haven't told you, actually, Pascal, is that, you know, I've been, you know, I'm a writer and, you know, I've been working on books and things. I am actually writing Courage to be You as a book at the moment. No, I'm not uh... writing it. I'm not writing. It's writing itself. It's writing itself. I just got body shivers there. Yeah, That's it's fantastic. It, it's as I'm doing all the other things for Courage to Be You. So the book is just, just pouring out just, and I'm just, just writing. Pouring out. Yeah. So amazing. So, 
so exciting. The YouTube, the book, the clients, the groups. It's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful life. Oh, that's amazing. Gosh, so lots of lots of changes, lots of ways people can work with you, which is yeah. absolutely fantastic. And I know you've got an absolute bank of resources and um, I mean, skills, obviously, but resources and tools and all, all of the things you've got going on that people can get um, that can get hold of um, if they want to know a little bit more about you. Um, I know this is going out uh, to your your channel and to your people, but just for anybody else who um, happens to just come across this and uh, has the has the uh, privilege of connecting with you or wants to connect with you and feels drawn to you and wants to evolve and all the things we've talked about, how is the best way for them to get in touch with you? How can they find you? Uh, well, we can put a link under the under this video i can put we can put links under wherever this video is and also i will say it's findcourage.me if you go to findcourage.me courage okay you will go straight to my website it's easier that than to try and spell my name out <laughs> so uh for my for my website so findcourage.me will take you to my website and okay. there you will find all great domain my life I've got a I've got a lovely people people pleasing quiz on the website as well. Oh, it's so wonderful! Absolutely wonderful. Well, I mean, you, you like everybody who connects with you is so lucky to connect with you. Um, I'm so lucky to connect with you and be able to call you my friend. Um, is there anything else that you think you would like to share, or you would like people to hear, or anything else before we wrap up? I think what comes to mind when you ask me that question is we're all fine. We're all doing great. We're just doing what we're meant to be doing in the time we're meant to be doing it. And if you're upset or worried or stuck or, you, you know, your life isn't going the way it want, you want it to go, just go to my website, get started. There's loads of freebies on there. Um, but don't. Don't be hard on yourself. None of us needs to be hard on ourselves. I think we should. We need to get rid of our shoulds and just um, look in the mirror and realise how amazing we all are. And you've told me that many a time. So, um, yeah, I, I, I know I know you know it. I know you believe it. And I know it's part of your, um, your core being. So thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Absolute pleasure. Take care.